Hey, what's up guys? It's probably not maybe your favorite YouTuber here. Let's talk about PewDiePie haters real quick. It's not that much of an issue anymore, but if it ever gets brought up again, or if you're still a hater of PewDiePie, I just want to talk about this, because for those of you who keep up with this content on my channel, you know that I made a video with a very similar title before, Why Captain Underpants Deserves a Chance, and in it, I... I knew that it wasn't much of an issue anymore, but I knew that there were still people out there who said that Captain Underpants sucked and should have never existed. And in the video, I talked about reasons why Captain Underpants is fine. So now I'm going to do the same for PewDiePie, because I know there's still some PewDiePie haters out there. So mainly, I kind of just watched some of PewDiePie's reaction videos to his hater videos, and in them... Some of them, they were just saying flat out that they hate PewDiePie over and over and over and over and over again, okay? Why? Then there were some videos that were saying stuff like, PewDiePie is only making YouTube videos for the money. Wow. He must be the only one in the world who works simply for the money. No, 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 but in all serious though, I know that people have picked up on this before, but honestly, like, what kind of excuse is that? He only does his job for the money. So does my stepmom. So does my older sister. So does my dad. So does my grandpa and grandma. If they had the option, if they could just live life freely without having to worry about money, they would quit their job. The only reason that they work is simply so that they can have money to afford a house and food and all that stuff. So that excuse is kind of demolished. Then there are other videos out there that suggest, like there was this one about a boy that suggests that he was that he was hypnotizing us. But in all serious though, that's not really a bad thing because he's hypnotizing us to enjoy his videos, but he's also hypnotizing us to feel happy to 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 laugh at his videos and stuff like that. that like, there must be people out there who live such miserable lives that they kind of need to be hypnotized if they ever want to feel happiness again. So, if you're hypnotizing someone to have a better life, I don't see why it's such a bad thing. And I know that PewDiePie's videos, like, some of them are, like, inappropriate, technically. Like, like he swears in them and he does so sexual content, you know, but like, it's just, sorry, that was my phone, fell out of my pocket and fell on the ground. It's just a thing on YouTube. I'm sorry, guys, he's not the only YouTuber who does it. In fact, Smosh does it way more. Watch some of like the Smosh videos from like 2013 to like 2015. There are countless inappropriate jokes in them. Markiplier and Jacksepticeye make them, Ashi makes them, Dashi probably makes them more than all of them combined, but um, it's just like, it's a thing on YouTube, so just don't get upset at specifically PewDiePie, get upset at all of the YouTubers out there. Well, I guess not all of them. In the Captain Underpants video, I said give it a chance. And that is because it does deserve a chance. It is a very great story series. I've read like novels like Treasure Island and stuff like that, it just bored me to death. I could not, I could not pay attention to it. And even if I did manage to pay attention to like a sentence, I would forget it within seconds because I didn't like the book. So why did I keep on reading it? Because I was reading it in class. I had to read it. We had a test afterwards. It was the only test ever that I took that I failed because I just didn't care for the book. I just found it really boring. And Kevin Underpants, it's not boring at all. Like, I know that, like, boringness in a book is, like, up to your opinion, but, like, Captain Underpants is a very exciting series. There are probably not that many people out there who would say that Captain Underpants is boring. If you actually, like, like, if you, like, thinking to yourself, like, I will say it is boring no matter what, and then just read through the book, keeping that in your mind, then, yeah, of course you're gonna say it's boring. The human will is, pro is stronger than you think. But, like, if you actually, like, just read it like it's a normal book, just ignore the title, ignore the cover, just read it, then you might actually enjoy it. PewDiePie, on the other hand, is not really, like, some people will like it, some people won't. It's just, it kind of depends, you know, like, most teenagers and 20-year-olds might like it, kids might like it, 
and then probably like you know adults in their 30s 40s 50s are more mature and stuff like that and they won't like it but the cool thing is is that like like they like here's my theory is that they existed back a long time ago back in the ancient days of the stone age and they're here now when they already have the maturity on so what would be cool is if the us we who have been who have been into YouTube and have been into this stuff since like since like this age might be able to keep on to it. And I know that sounds bad, but when you think about it, it's not really. L like it sounds bad to say like we can hold on to this immaturity, but it's not immature as in like whatever you guys are thinking. It's immature as in like you know like having fun, enjoying life, and stuff like that because. That's what life is. Like, what is the point of living if you're going to be bored and suffering? Like, I, like, like uh, this is kind of a long story. I'll say it as fast as I can. Uh, Dad and my stepmom and I have a pool in our backyard. But, uh, and, I, and I asked if it was salt water, like if the water was actually drinkable. And my stepmom said that she wouldn't drink from the pool if it was the last water on earth. And then we actually started to think about that seriously. If it was the last water on earth, would she actually not drink it? I mean, like, obviously there would be a point where she would become so desperate she would just drink from it. So, and then I asked a question, like, would you rather just kill yourself instantly or live the next three days without water with endless suffering and not being able to change your mind and just having to wait for death of thirst to come? I would pick kill myself instantly because one of my like one of my biggest fears as a kid was being thirsty. L like like I couldn't go half an hour without water and not say I'm thirsty. And then my dad got angry, thinking I was in a bad mood. Thought I was saying like you know oh I'd rather die than go than I would rather die than go without water. Yeah, I actually would. I would rather die than go without water. It's just it's. It's actually, I'm serious. Like, I would rather kill myself instantly than live the next three days with suffering in my throat. So yeah, that's just basically, I just wanted to say that. And then later, like a few weeks later, a few months later, I can't remember, I was sitting in the living room and my older stepsister was there and my stepmom was there. My older sister was saying how she didn't really like her job and that she wanted to change. And then my stepmom said that every single one of them has, every single person on the planet has a job that they hate. No, that's not true. Many YouTubers out there like their job. But, uh, <laughs> it was funny because she just said, name one person who likes their job. And then my older sister, like, named one of her friends or something. And my stepmom was just like, name two people who dislike their job. <laughs> yeah. So, but, like, honestly, like, Jobs are com new jobs are coming up all the time. YouTuber was just recently added. Like you can officially have YouTube for a job. I'm not sure if it's like officially a job, but it is in my mind. Like like people have it for a living. Many people do. So why not? So yeah, soon there's gonna be jobs that are like easy to do and fun to do because, like, why? Like 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 there are people out there who just live life pretty boringly. Just literally every single day, they wake up, eat breakfast, go to work, come back, eat dinner, go to sleep, and they barely ever do anything exciting. And like, that's just kind of sad to hear that they're just living life that way. But, um, but if we can hold on to this immaturity, then we can actually have better lives, like happier lives. Because like, yeah, like, like, like a lot of, Elders and adults out there will think and will like maybe even leave a comment saying like that's stupid to keep your immaturity Immaturity is bad. And yeah, it can be bad. It can be bad. Don't get me wrong Immaturity is not like you like don't get too immature But I'm just saying like just keep a little bit of it just so that you can have fun, you know You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm trying to get out. So yeah, just if you're not going to give PewDiePie a chance, then just let him be. Let his fans be. Let them do what they want with their lives. As long as you are doing what you want to do with your life, that is what is most important. They can do what they want with their lives. If they are doing something that is bad, karma will get them later in life. 
But as long as you are doing what you think is right and you are spending life how you want to spend it, that is what matters. So thank you everyone so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like so that I know that you enjoyed it. And if you didn't like it, leave a dislike so that I know that you didn't enjoy it. And leave a comment down below if you liked the video. Tell me what you liked about it because it feels amazing when we get another subscriber, get another like, or get an, even another view. It's just, it's just amazing. And if you didn't like it, then leave a comment down below saying how I can improve for next time because otherwise I won't be able to improve. If you just dislike the video and leave a comment saying, boo, you suck, I'm just going to ignore your comment and pretend that your dislike is a like because you're not telling me what you didn't like about it, so I can't really change the video for the better. And subscribe so they know when my next video comes out. Okay, ever since halfway through the video, as I talk, there's a weird static thing going on in my brain. Like, it sounds like someone's, like, crinkling tinfoil in here. It's still going. Make it stop. It's annoying. Nah. Yeah. Eh. Hello. Hello. It's still, it's still going. Okay, I don't know. Thank you again so much for watching, and as always, I will see you next time. Goodbye.